The FIM Ice Speedway World Championship concludes with the Dutch round the fifth and final weekend of the 2019 campaign. The Tjalf Ice Arena in Heerenveen stages its third world final, but this will be its most memorable. Four riders still in title contention, separated by just six points. The lead Russian quartet arrive in the Netherlands, three of them already former world champions in the Czechs for the 2019 crown. With four rounds in three countries barely able to separate them, this has already been a season to remember. Although I've not always been happy about my form, I always remained confident. It's about fighting and never giving up. But certainly winning the Russian Championship for the first time in five years gave me a boost even before that important win in Almaty. It's all about mindset. I prepared well for this season, fixed some mistakes from the past, and so I got into the top three right from the start of the season. My season got off to a very bad start because of a shed chain in the semi-finals, but we know in motorsport that these technical things are a part of it, and I've tried to make up for it in subsequent finals. It was a strange situation in Shadrinsk because the ice was very deep but it continued to snow and when that froze and we rode on it, all of the ice started to break in fragments. It became dangerous with several crashes so there was no option to continue but it was definitely the same for everyone. The semi-finals on day one in Shadrinsk was definitely the worst point of my season because I didn't make it through to the final but I can't regret it because it's a world championship you just have to push even harder to catch up. It was a pity to lose those points in Shadrinsk. I wish I had them now, really. But it isn't the right mindset to keep thinking about what might have been. You just have to take each day one at a time. The track in Berlin is a lot narrower than I'm used to in Russia, so I didn't do that well on day one because I needed time to get used to the track. But after the first day, I could prepare properly, and so I reached my highest level. My crash happened basically because I hit two ruts while I was chasing the others. But because the track isn't as wide as what I'm used to in Russia, I didn't have space to save the bike. On the plus side, that really made me determined to win after that. Dean Arvalev giving it my all. Danny Ivanov on my best form as always. I'm Dmitry Koltakov, world champion, the man they have to catch. Don't rule me out just yet. Round 5 opened in Heerenveen after a week's break following the German tour, and there were two main changes to the lineup. The retirement of Gunter Bauer last time out in Insel promoted Jasper Ivema up to series reserve to make his return to the World Championship. And Martin Hara Hiltonen reclaimed his position, returning from a hand injury sustained in Berlin. Sweden's Hara Hiltonen put in a competitive display on his return, but the focus was on the title contenders right from the start. Two former world champions meeting in Heat 1. Dmitry Koltakov made the start and looked set to pig back some of his four-point championship deficits, but instead it was Dani Ivanov with a lap three pass who became the new series leader. Ivanov's early advantage became a consolidated championship buffer as Dina Valeyev put in a nervous performance and suffered a calamitous mid-meeting phase. His heat eight crash was hardly his fault, a first bend incident with Hans Weber. But after the incident, he managed just two points from three rides to tumble back from the lead in the world rankings. His Heat 9 and Heat 15 crashes were both the result of unforced errors. 
Malayev's ambition and lack of experience proving costly as he dropped in total seven points from his first four outings. Ivanov had further good fortune to keep up his momentum. Dmitry Kometsevich well clear on the final lap of Heat 11 before making two mistakes and inadvertently allowing the new series leader through to maintain his maximum hopes. And Kometsevich, who could ill afford to concede any further ground with a six-point deficit to make up, lost another point in Heat 17 when his magic touch from the tapes eluded him and Dmitry Koltakov sprinted clear to his fourth consecutive win. Real change in the championship chase took the limelight on day one in the Netherlands, but there were entertaining battles for the semi-final places as well. Three riders went into heat 20, all tied on five apiece and bidding for the last qualification slot. Jasper Ivema, the surprise early frontrunner after a successful lap one move. But Nicholas Svensson recollected himself following a scrappy first half of the race, made it back through on the last lap and eliminated the home rider whilst gaining himself a top eight ranking. Two-minute disqualification for Hans Weber in Heat 13 proved the Germans' downfall after a strong start. Jasper Ivermer only missing out on count back following his Heat 20 defeat and fellow countryman Jimmy Twinstra also close to making the cut. <laughs> Semi-final one off the inside gate in red, Daniel Ivanov. Maximum man, the new championship leader. Going up against the man he overtook to get there, Dina Valev, who goes off gate three. Between the Martin Hara Hilton and back up to ninth in the championship on his return from injury. Valev only eight points to his name. You start to feel this is a must win for the youngster to get his challenge back on track. He goes in wide and off the outside gate, Nicholas Svensson, who needs a point here to move seventh overall above Nikita Toloknov. Dina Valev under real pressure here, having already lost seven points to Ivanov. Not to lose any more. Ivanov, Hara Hilton and Valev and Svensson. Movement off gate number two from Martin Hara Hilton. He's penalised himself. Svensson's made a good one off the outside, but up the inside of him now comes Dean Avalev through into second place. And Hara Hilton and follows off turn number two. Now it's up to Hara Hilton and to try and upset the rhythm of Dean Avalev, who sits in second place. Daniel even of the race leader looking over his shoulder. Checking on the progress of Dean Arvalev and Martin Har Hilton and starting to look around the inside line, sniffing for a place in the grand final. Remember, a grand finalist in the opening round of the season, Martin Har Hilton and closes drastically, coming around turn three and four. Har Hilton and cutting to the inside line. Valeev manages to stretch his legs coming into turn number one, and Har Hilton and hits a bobble off turn two and drops back. So that seemingly settles things in semi-final number one, even off ahead of Valeev and Har Hilton and completely loses it off turn number four. He's on the wrong part of the track, has to back off completely into turn one, and Nicholas Svensson has now come through for third position as well. So it's going to be Ivanov ahead of Valeev, much as we expected up front, but out at the back, Martin Hara Hilton, and on lap three there, making an error. He's frustrated about that. He gives away the single point. He wasn't too far away from the back of Dean Valeev in the first half of that race either. Semi-final number one. Semi-final two off the inside gate in red, Dmitry Koltakov. Six points behind Daniel Ivanov, but with this ride in hand. Dmitry Kometsevich, three points further back from Koltakov, goes off gate two. Another impressive performance in the heats from Stefan Svensson, the oldest rider in the field. He goes in white. Obey Ledstrom, the heat 16 winner, the lowest scoring seed to the semi-finals, completes the lineup off gate four. Koltakov, Kometsevich, Svensson and Ledstrom, semi-final number two. Another two places up for grabs in the final. Bumping and boring in the run down to the first turn. Koltkov has shoved Comet Zavich wide and Stefan Svensson leads them down the back straight. Big surprise here, 60-year-old Stefan Svensson hitting the front. Dmitry Koltkov now will round him on the top turn. Koltkov leads across the stripe at the end of the opening lap. Svensson moves to block Comet Zavich and he's tricked the veteran. Comet Zavich slicing back up the inside around turns one and two. And uh, normal service is resumed as Stefan Svensson is relegated back to third. But a lively opening lap for the Swede, only to be overhauled by Koltakov and Kometsevich in successive turns. And now the gaps are starting to elongate between the riders. Koltakov looks to have this one settled. He'll narrow the championship deficit 
back to three points at the top of the standings with the grand final still to come and his opportunities to bring himself back into contention really alive this weekend Dmitry Goltskov well on his way towards victory Stefan Svensson now well tailed off in third position he will collect another point for his championship crusade that will move him on to 70 for this season but it's Koltakov and Komet Savic still fighting it out in the context of the championship who take the top th two positions in semi-final number two and march on to today's grand final Koltakov your winner ahead of Komet Savic in second Svensson and Ledstrom eliminated from semi-final two Watched on by FIM president Jorge Viegas. The top four in the championship go head-to-head -head once again. Seven points now separating them. Off the inside gate, Dan Ivanov, the championship leader on 150 points. Gate two, Dmitry Koltakov. The right results in this one could bring him level with Ivanov. Dmitry Kometsevic, three drop points so far today. A disaster so far for Dinar Valeev. Is this the day the championship slipped away from the youngster? Even off Koltkov and Comet Savic looked like Koltkov got an anticipated start there off gate number two. Works in his favour. The referee hasn't called it back. Wide off the exit of turn number two, Dmitry Comet Savic. Now side by side for second as Dan Ivanov tries to press home the inside advantage. And Dina Valeev is following his inside line there with an opportunity to come through for third place. Ivanov gets the better of Comet Savic. And Dmitry Koltkov has left the door wide open on turns one and two. And Dan Ivanov says thank you very much and now moves up to block Koltkov who's overtaken by Dmitry Komet Savic as well. And Koltkov, applying the outside line, has really cost himself two points and two positions there. He's blocked out again by Komet Savic this time, and Valeev comes through, and Koltkov has gone from first to fourth. This could spell disaster in the context of his championship. He battles back around the outside of Valeev for third position, but there's no way he's going to get to the top two, who are now well clear. Even of out in front, Komet Savic looking over his shoulder as they go into turns three and four. Oh, Komet Savic hits a run. Down goes Comet Savic. Koltkov will salvage a point, but it's not much consolation. He had an opportunity to win ahead of Ivanov there. And Comet Savic failing to score in the grand final may well end his challenge for the championship as he remains stranded down in fourth position. But a stunning maximum performance from Daniel Ivanov. His 24th career victory. And surely he moves one step closer towards a potential world title in 2019. So despite maintaining his run of consecutive grand final appearances, Dinar Valeev dropping to his lowest score of the season so far, concedes 10 points in one day to Daniel Ivanov, the first rider to manage a maximum score in 2019. Today was really good. Now I'll go to the hotel, try to sleep, not think about tomorrow, and attempt to do the same again then. Dina Valeev plummets from first to third in the standings, leaving day one eight points back, having been championship leader. Daniel Ivanov now sits in a commanding position up front, four points clear. Ivanov then taking command of the 2019 title race. Four ahead and just seven rides from his third world championship after securing his fourth victory of the 2019 campaign. <laughs> Daniel Ivanov started day two with his championship destiny in his own hands. 18 points from making the 2019 crown a mathematical reality after his day one maximum. Any points dropped by his rivals, meanwhile, would only make Ivanov's task all the easier. Dmitry Kometsevich was the first rider to drop out of contention. Despite his consistent fast starts, he continues to lack race pace. He was picked off easily by Dmitry Koltakov in Heat 7, as the gap at the top of the title race remained static at four points. Heat 9 represented Koltakov's best chance to make up ground on Ivanov, but he squandered it, despite jetting from the start ahead of the championship leader. Ivanov once again proved himself a nifty adept at inside line overtakes to dominate. While Koltakov wasted another point with a lap three error, Dina Valeev now nine points back and Koltakov only three ahead of the youngster. Valeev's hopes of the 2019 crown were officially ended when he suffered a Heat 19 defeat at the hands of Dmitry Kometsevic, leaving the title race down to just two contenders and Daniel Ivanov within touching distance of the title. A cautious Heat 20 ride from Ivanov almost cost him a portion of his buffer, 
the two times world champion looking uncomfortable on the bike hardly pushing while Nicholas Svensson saw an opportunity to make a name for himself and kept up the pressure throughout Ivanov held on for the three points to put one hand on the trophy Meanwhile, the battle for the last of the semi-final places was again decided against Hans Weber after he suffered a Heat 18 fall while in the position he needed to qualify. Jasper Ivermer made it through at his expense. <laughs> Business as usual, with just two points separating the four Russians up front. Meanwhile, final ride non-scores for Hans Weber and Max Niedermeyer mean they miss out. The second ride crash for Ove Ledstrom saw him withdraw through injury. First match point to Daniel Ivanov, the first chance he's had to seal the 2019 championship. Ivanov, six points clear of Dmitry Koltakov, with only two rides available to the reigning title holder. Already has one hand on the trophy. Off gate two, Dean Arvaleyev still fighting for his place on the championship podium. Four behind Koltakov, two ahead of Comet Savage. Gate three in white, Nicholas Svensson much improved in the second half of this season. And a first semi-final appearance for Jasper Ivermer, who goes off the outside gate. The focus, though, on Ivanov. Just a single point away from the title, and that should be more than achievable here. Even of then, will expect to seal a third world crown in this one, semi-final one. Even of Valeyev, Svensson, and Ivama. Not a great start from Valeyev off gate number two. He tries to get across the front of Ivanov, and down goes Svensson. Down goes Svensson. That's massive for Daniel Ivanov. Nicholas Svensson's inevitable disqualification means that Daniel Ivanov now need only finish this semi-final number one to guarantee himself the point and a third world title. Ivanov, Valeev and Ivama. Can the Dutchman spring a surprise off the outside gate? You know what, he hasn't made a bad start there off gate number four. Ivama probably first away, but he's got the uh, disadvantageous outside starting position. Ivanov and Valeev cut straight through. Now, will Daniel Ivanov risk a battle with Dina Valeev? The smarter tactic and the smart money here would probably have been on even of allowing the youngster to go through. Look at Valeev bucking and rearing on the inside line there. The back wheel completely off the ground as he made his way around turns one and two. And the risk here is that if Ivanov gets it wrong fighting Valeev, he could end up with nothing at all. And uh, that would leave the championship potentially in Dmitry Koltakov's hands. A couple of nervous moments for Daniel Ivanov in this meeting already, particularly his final heat race. And he's got a single point to score in this one, semi-final number one. But he's starting to sprint clear of Valeev now. He looks comfortable. He's still attacking the circuit. Ivoma is way off the pace, so Ivanov doesn't need to worry. He's going to get this single point here in semi-final number one. In fact, he's going to get all three points available in semi-final number one. And Daniel Ivanov with victory in the first semi-final here in Hirenveen is crowned world champion for the third time in his career and the title holder in 2019 after a five-year absence from the top step of the podium is Daniel Ivanov. Through to the grand final here today as well. So Daniel Ivanov doing things in style with a race victory there ahead of Dina Valeev. There were a couple of nervous moments, most notably on the top turn when Ivanov hit a rut, but he's through and he's world champion. Second place here would secure world number two status for Dmitry Koltakov. Two of the three medal rankings still on the line ahead of semi-final two. Koltakov, Komet Savic, Hara Hilton and, and Svensson. Hara Hilton has made a stinker off gate number three. It's Dmitry Koltakov who gets there first. Hara Hilton are now battling past Stefan Svensson off turn number two. So no semi-final surprises for Svensson this time around. Again up against Koltakov and Komet Savic. And it's the two Russians who are in a race of their own out in front. Komet Savic pressurising around the outside line. Koltakov moves to block. Koltakov has been making decent starts but hasn't really had the pace consistently up against his Russian rivals and through on the inside of him here comes Dmitry Kometsevich. Kometsevich, remember, an FIM medalist every year since 2012. Comes into this race outside of the top three in the championship. Four points back from Valeev in third. He could gain three on him here with a race victory but Koltakov is set to deny him all the way around the outside. Kometsevich tries to move to block. Koltakov gets the elbows out down the start finish straight going sideways. Cuts to the inside now on one and two. Komet Savic has been surprised. 
Meanwhile, out at the back, where did Stefan Svensson come from to pick off Martin Hari Hilton? And Kolchkovs hit the front and was looking over his shoulder as he moved across Dimitri Komet Savic coming off turn two and close in the run down to the line as well between Hari Hilton and Stefan Svensson. And it's Hari Hilton who's just about got the verdict in the battle for third position. So two great races in one, but it's Kolchkov and Komet Savic who march on. So the top two world rankings are settled. Only the bronze medal is up for grabs here between Dmitry Kometsevich and Dinar Valeev. Danny Ivanov had first choice of starting position. He's gone for the outside, so it would appear he just wants to stay out of the action and celebrate his title success. Kometsevich trailing Valeev by two points. Desperately needs a win here. Koltakov, Kometsevich, Valeev and Ivanov. Valeev's missed the start completely off gate number three. And Kometsevich has got there first. And now we really have a battle on our hands for that bronze medal position. Comet Savic determined into turn number three. But Koltakov is the last to turn and claims the race leading position. And now Valeev gets up the inside of Ivanov. So as things stand, Valeev would take the FIM bronze medal. Comet Savic needs to get back past Koltakov. Can't see Ivanov doing much damage to Dinar Valeev. So it's up to Comet Savic now, who dives down the inside into turn three. Across the front of Koltakov. And Koltakov's down. Koltakov down into the bales in the grand final. Drive here. Dmitry Kometsevich walking away disconsolately. His run of consecutive FIM podium finishes is over. Dina Valeev will be third in the 2019 championship. This one then is just for pride and for the career victory rankings. It's Dina Valeev who gets away first. Dmitry Koltkov in second and Daniel Ivanov a disinterested spectator almost in this grand final out at the back, but it's Murphy's law that the one rider who was struggling a drift of the pack first time out, Dina Valeev, this time around has popped out and made the start. Dmitry Koltakov will pursue hard. He's already guaranteed a 61st career podium. He's looking for a 27th career win. He goes all the way around the outside of Dina Valeev. Valeev himself looking for a fourth victory in this 2019 campaign. He's riding defensively here. He hasn't really had the pace this weekend. He hasn't enjoyed this circuit this weekend. And now he's been overhauled by Dmitry Koltakov. A sweet cutback move there from Koltakov. And although he runs wide on the top turn, Valeev hits a rut at just the wrong moment. And that's going to settle it in favour of Koltakov then after a good pass on Dinar Valeev, who's relegated to second position. As I said, Daniel Ivanov not too interested in this grand final. He's popping wheelies out at the back. And it's Dmitry Koltakov who's going to take it after an overtake on Dinar Valeev. There is Daniel Ivanov celebrating with another wheelie as he comes over the line, collects a single point for the championship. But uh, his focus there was just on celebrating the world championship. His first ride as world champion only finishes with third position, but it's enough for a podium finish here in the Netherlands. Despite actually backing off in that grand final with the title already won, Daniel Ivanov finishes the day joint highest scorer and on the podium. His third place there, his only drop points of the entire weekend. He really did raise his game under pressure. So Dmitry Koltakov takes his third final win of 2019, but that will be of small consolation as he drops back to silver following a two-year reign as world champion. Martin Hara Hilton and moves back into the top eight with Nikita Toloknov and Ove Ledstrom struggling throughout the weekend. Block of three Swedes led by Stefan Svensson finishing behind Hans Weber. The four Russians, the only riders to break the century mark. It hasn't yet sunk in that I'm world champion again. Everyone is coming to me, congratulating me and taking pictures with me, but I need some time to reflect. This season I've claimed every gold medal available to me, the Russian Championship, the Ice Speedway of Nations, and now this world championship. The collapse of Dina Valeev in the Netherlands leaves him only third behind Dmitry Koltakov, whose late resurgence is thwarted after a five-year wait Daniel Ivanov returns to the top step of the podium for a third title that few would have predicted. What a season 2019 has been.